ladies and Japanese guitar lovers that were made in Indonesia. Well, we have tonight, of course, the uh, Yamaha Revstar RS320. And sometimes I think that the marketing department gets the guitar names and motorcycle names slightly mixed up because I almost expected to see YPVS at the end of this or Power Valve or something like that. But nonetheless, a guitar it certainly is. So let's have a look and a listen. Must be pick up time, and we will start with the bridge humbug. So let's be down here, like we do, and well, yes. So bridge everything flat out, and crikey, O'Reilly, these pickups are so powerful. a great spread of rich warmth and a, a boisterousness, one might say. I, tell, I mean, I'll tell you what, I, I mean, fair enough, it's no Gibson, but blinking heck for the money, these things are absolutely incredible in value. So what we need to do is have a jolly good look round it. Let's do that. So the Yamaha RS320. I like this. I'll tell you. I like this. 
and my usual, well it is my usual sort of thing in many ways. So let's have a quick talk about the bits and bobs and the construction. Uh, we have got, uh, most, probably most importantly, one of the things that I do like to see is a set neck. Now the body and neck, I know I normally start the head, but we'll get to the head in a bit. Uh, so, yes, NATO is the wood, which is also known as Eastern Mahogany, and it has similar uh, properties to that of mahogany. But I will tell you something, that what I do find is that some guitars make the, I normally leave my amp settings exactly the same, and some guitars, for some reason, seem to create um, a greater delay than others. Don't know why. Don't know why, Michael, you'll probably be able to tell me. But anyway, there we have it. Uh, I've just put a fresh uh, set of nines on it and done the intonation, which was woefully out on all strings except for the D. Uh, but everything is in great nick, and this is probably what I would call a COVID special. If you have a look closely at the scratch plate here, and the cavity control plate here, you will note that the plastic film is still on them. And I can tell you, this just hasn't been played. I'm guessing at the start of lockdown, some guy bought it and probably tried having a bit of a go and just gave up and sold it. Uh, I do like COVID specials, mm, my favorite brand. So we have around the back what looks like a Goto tuners, which they may or may not be, with the tulip uh, peg heads. I like those, they're great. And around the front of course you've got the emblem, uh, which is uh, Yamaha's logo, the three tuning forks uh, set together in a triangly sort of pattern. I'll let you have a look at this information on the back of the headstock. The serial number starts O2, and, that, and and it's meaningless to me. I have no idea what year this is from. But these are certainly, as we speak today in January the something, uh, 2022, these are current models. And you can buy them for about 350 quid, brand fine new. They come in three colours. They come in, in the black steel, which is black. They come in ice blue, which is blue, and antique white, which, yes, I know you're, you're ahead of me already here, aren't you? Yes, it's white. So, uh, very attractive guitars, and very, very well made. You get an awful lot for the money with these. Very, very beautifully finished in a super flawless gloss black finish, and of course this being, well, it, it, well it, it, it's new, it's new, it's not, well, it, or certainly at least it is unplayed. I mean, there's not even, I mean, there's barely any marks on the plastic film on the scratch plate, which would give one some indication as to how much use this has had. When I had the strings off, of course, I looked at the frets and there was just nothing uh, going on there. Uh, we have got two pickups that are... Look, you'll have to have a look at the back here, because... Let me move over a little. Uh, because I did measure the I did measure the pickups, and quite frankly, I found the power output, well, certainly surprising. I was going to say astonishing. Yeah, astonishing would do. Uh, because these are, these are so, so powerful. And terrific clarity. And the blurbs, well, the blurb is hilarious, actually. Uh, it says these will be great through a fuzz box or something like that, but, just, but really it's just a good guitar. And I would expect nothing less from Yamaha uh, because they make excellent stuff. And the nut, and this is what amused me particularly, and the nut, which is perfectly fine, it's a nice nut, according to the specifications it's made from urea that's right u-r-e-a which as far as i recall from my biology school days is a substance that is metabolized through the body and passed out 
through the kidneys via sweat or urine. So how they managed to collect that up and make it into a nut is, uh, well, an area that I'm not particularly familiar with. So, yes, we've got these fabulous, fabulous uncovered humbuckers. Uh, a tunematic, which works perfectly well, and a nice stop tail bridge. The output jack is on the side, which for me is always the best place. Uh, you've got one tone, one volume, which is, let's face it, all you really need. And a three position blade switch to take you from one pickup to t'other and the bit in between. Really? I think that's it. Uh, Rosewood, it is a rosewood fingerboard with dot inlays. And you can move to the next model up that's got um, a mahogany, mahogany body and neck with a flame maple cap. Oh, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? I think that's called the 620, 520 or 620. And it has uh, nicer inlays. But blinking egg, uh, from like 300, I think the lowest price I saw was 320, but certainly 350. And then you've got to move up another 300 quid to get some block inlays. And it, but for 350 quid, you will do very, very well to beat at this. And I can't imagine for all the world that the 620 is gonna be any better than, better than this. I've really, really enjoyed playing this guitar. It has been absolutely brilliant. So, bang yourself a bargain, get a COVID special, or if you can't find a COVID special, get yourself one of these, but they're not expensive and they are superb. As always, if it isn't quite right, Take it to your local guy, get him to set it up to your preferences, make sure the intonation's right. That was, the, that was really the only fault that I found with this guitar, which of course is easily fixable with the tunematic style bridge. So that's it from me and the Yamaha. Thank you all ever so much for tuning in, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Adios amigos. Terra.